What's up? How is everybody doing today? We're going to be doing a reggae mix tutorial. And first of all, I want to give a big shout out to Mr. DM Khan and the Zion Eye Kings. Both of them single-handedly helped me get better at mixing and production within reggae music. I've been mixing reggae music for about seven years now, and the journey has been long, but I feel that I have my recordings have gotten to a professional sound. And I just want to give a shout out to those guys because they offered a lot of help just from their videos and their sound alone. Let's jump into it. Alright, so today I recorded all of these tracks. Drums, bass, guitar, keys, organ. I recorded all of them by myself today in my studio. So let's see how it sounds dry with no plugins. All the faders and gain levels are at Unity except for this track right here. This is my um, talk back track, so I can talk to you guys. Anyways, so usually I start out with the drums because they are my favorite thing to do. So that's what we're going to get started on. Start with the kick. And another device that DMCon uses that I've watched one of his videos and I've used this thing forever and it makes your drum sound amazing. I have to boost the gain a lot because when I record my drums, I record them pretty quiet, but they're so loud running through my preamps that they're on the verge of, you know, a little bit too much gain slash clipping, so. Let's look at the level over here too. Okay, cool. So first thing I do, usually with my kick drum, I'll boost 60, like five. I have headphones on, I usually mix with out headphones. So I might be going back and forth to check it out. All right, so. A little 10K sizzle. Usually either 4.8 or 3.2K I'll boost. I'll show you guys uh, the, usually the next plugin in the chain I do is a, um, a parametric EQ. Okay, that sounds pretty good so far. I high pass with my parametric EQ as well. Very minimal compression on the kick. Like 2 dB. Minus 2 dB compression, something like that. I don't mess with this too much. Mess with the gate, turn fast attack off. Want those transients to come through, very nice. Sounds good to me. Let's move on to the snare. Same, boosting quite a good amount. Let's see what we're at. Yeah. See, it's hitting right there at negative 10. That's, that's where I like most of my instruments to hang out if I, if I can possibly help it. Definitely bring out the sizzle on the snare top. Bottom end, snare, just a little bit, 4 dB. High pass at 70. No low pass. Again, very little compression. You don't want that much compression on your drums um, with reggae. You usually throw a, um, a, a bus compressor, but I'll, when we get to that, I'll show you how I work that in. All right, 
The gate is the tricky part here for this because the hi-hat bleed. I could use a um, multi-band compressor, but I like to limit myself, so. Let's just solo the snare. That sounds pretty good to me. I don't hear any hi-hats. Very, very minimal. Okay, see how that sounds? Sound pretty good together. All right, so I'm gonna go over to, uh, sorry, it's like unorganized. Snare bottom. Uh, I don't really do too much to the snare bottom because I can get a lot of good sound just straight from my snare top, but I still add it in there just because. Flip the face. Let's bring it up and see how it sounds as we blend it in. Snare bottom, sounds terrible. Let's just solo it with the snare top. I mean, it's a little high-end sizzle. There's already a good amount. High pass at 70. Probably boost that at 100 as well. Maybe let's try 200. I'm, I might go back and forth to see how it sounds on my headphones, so, or on my monitors. No, I won't. Okay, that sounds good, I think, so far. And I have here, I have it loaded up. It is a Reason stock a reverb. Reason stock reverbs are insanely amazing. They have so many. Look at all these. There's like, well, that's just, that's just a few of them. There's hundreds of presets. And this one is a Fender Spring. It is the best spring reverb that I could find. So throw that as a send. A little bit of that, just a hair, nothing crazy. You don't want to soak it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. So now on to the overheads. All right. So. People usually do the overheads different, and reggae overheads are, I don't know how often they're used, especially in like authentic reggae, like roots reggae, um, but newer reggae, they definitely use overheads, and it just depends on, you know, how wide you want your drums to sound. So usually, uh, just from learning audio engineering at school, I've always just pan them hard left and hard right like a stereo track i could have recorded them as a stereo track but i didn't so same with this one yeah pan hard left and right just a little i'd add just a little bit the overheads are not in the drum tracks as heavy you don't in reggae you want you you want your drums to sound super tight and not a lot of room reverb. You don't want room coloration. That's my personal preference. But And that's how a lot of reggae sounds naturally. There's no room noise. And I usually high pass at 160. And then I just I leave the compression alone too. No gate. I'll turn the gate off. Um, again, we'll have to see how it sounds through the monitors because I don't usually mix on hand votes. All right, that's that was overhead left and right. I pasted the patch. Sounds amazing. I think here's this. Okay, so one thing that I didn't do yet on the snare top I automated the gate so that the gate is not on and the intro fill because these little rolls, the gate will cut those off. They'll cut the, here, I'll, I'll drag it so you can hear it. The only reason I have the gate on is so there's no hi-hat bleed, so. We don't want that. So I automated the gate to come on when the beat drops. So the intro fill I wanna hear loud and clear and maybe even boost the intro a little bit more like that. A little clip gain, so. See? 
hear that? See how it... No big deal. There's like only one tom fill. I didn't go too crazy on the drums. Usually I'll overdub fills and stuff because I'm not like the most amazing reggae drummer. Uh, all of this was recorded um, without quantizing too. So just to give it a more natural feel. Again, boosting pretty good amount. Compress it a little bit more than you normally would. Don't need a gate because I did cuts, tom cuts. All right, so high pass at 70 usually. Try 110 boost. A lot of these parameters are the same for the drums. Like I use a lot of the same parameters and I can get the drum sounding pretty decent. Um, sounds a little thwacky. Um, I'm going to go back in later with a parametric EQ and clean up some of that, but 3.2 is probably better. Okay, let's see how it all sounds. And I'm going to bring the overheads down a bit. A little bit of spring reverb on the tom. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Nothing crazy. All right, so now we got the hi-hat. Sorry, I'll turn the loop off, my fault. All right, and usually what I'll do as well is drummer's perspective. All right, hi-hats. Get all that honky mid-range out of there. I usually like get completely get rid of 700 then pretty sizzly high pass 360 I get rid of all of it and then I'll do a little pan to the left because you're also getting it in like, like you could get away with just using the overheads but I like everything to be nice and balanced Bring that snare up a hair. Smacking. What might be cool is what I tried to is um is I'll throw on this black box thing. It makes it sound insane. Sounds really dope. Good start. All right, and my go-to plug-in bus compressor is either the um, API 2500 from uh, Universal Audio or um, this SSL by Brainworks and Plugin Alliance. And again, reggae attack all the way, the slowest attack, fastest release ratio and then I just dial it in until I get it because um, you don't want to squash those transients too hard like that sounds really good a little bit more reverb on the hats just a hair like you don't need that much and then also, I'll come back to this master bus compressor later, which I absolutely love as well. Reason is really underrated. I think it has a lot of awesome features. You know, mix-wise, they definitely need to work on a few things, but I've been using it forever. It's the only thing I mix on, and I love it, so. All right, so that's the drums. I think I'm going to, because I already, I mixed this before just to see how good I can get it to sound. This thing is my favorite. I like a little, I like a little sub bass, just a little bit of sub going on. I have this uh, thing by Brainworks called Sub Filter, 
and, and we'll have to mess with it very little, but keep it on tight punch, low resonance, and like 31, 31 hertz, and it's like, if you have a subwoofer on, it's like punching you in the gut right now. It's peaking up a little bit over 10, negative 10, but I think we can manage and live with it. All right, cool. So let's go to bass guitar. When I first mixed this, I rocked with the SSL 9000J. I'm gonna rock with it again. Reggae bass lives in the low frequency, so. Let's try and do a 50 hertz boost on the SSL console. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just see what 50 has to offer us. 4 dB. Good frequency to get rid of, you know, between 6 and 700. You want to get rid of all that honkiness. Get rid of all the high end. Again, sorry, it's taking me so long to, I'm just trying to get used to the headphones. I'm not used to it at all. Let's try and bring it up a little bit, compensate for what we took away. All right, now I'm gonna throw on my new plugin I just got, the Kerchov EQ. This thing is super sick. So I'm gonna mute myself on here so I can listen on the monitors because it's just, it's a little difficult to mix with headphones of um, this bass because it's a lot of sub frequencies that I can't even hear that well. So be right back. Sorry about that guys so yeah as you can see there's a lot going on here um, this other more 50 DB boost I mean I, I have this thing is awesome because it is a dynamic EQ as well or a multi-band compressor whatever you want to call it as well as an EQ I'm just gonna mess with the I think that sounds fine for now. Um, I'll go back later and listen to it. You know, once I've once I've listened to it on the monitors for sure. So that's that's a good that's a good starting point for the bass. We'll come back to that. All right. So next up we have the guitar skanks and the keys. We want to get dialed in. The keys are a stock Reason plugin. Um, I dialed in already before this, got it to sound the way I wanted. I didn't really do any EQ to it. Um, that's the one of the patches I like. With the skanks, you want to get a nice blend going on. Get the bite. 
from the guitar and just the overall piano sound. I don't, it's hard to explain. It's just they work so well together. High, high pass at 70. Maybe see what 1.6K does. Nothing super substantial. Man, that sounds good. Like, I can't complain. It's sometimes stuff just naturally sounds amazing out the gate. And I apologize, guys. My camera went away because my camera overheated. Again, this sounds amazing out the gate. Um, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I did a, I can high pass in here as well, so I'll just use this. I'm at about 80. Nothing really to cut out. I mean, I already cut out sub frequencies that I don't need. And then I'll do like a I'll boost a little bit with a tight, tighter Q. Oh, crap. And then when you add that in with the keys and the skanks, it just sounds so good. Skanks, chops, or whatever you want to call them. Guitar skanks, sorry. Guitar chops. Sounds good in the headphones. I don't know how well it's translating out on the speakers yet. So the next thing I do is I throw, sorry, the next thing I do I throw on is this bus compressor. Um, it's obviously emulated after an SSL bus compressor. This whole setup is like an SSL. We're gonna see how this sounds. off on it's on auto release slowest attack two to one like that's that's a good healthy amount of like cut out and I also have a limiter on the master insert too that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna take my headphones off again and listen through the monitors. It sounds pretty awesome, just out the gate. Honestly, it's all about drum and bass, just getting getting those to work well together. This is very bass heavy. Um, I know I definitely need to do some tweaking on the bass because it is very intense, but I still think it sounds amazing. Um, while I was gone, I boosted a little bit of top end on the kick. My ears could be super fatigued right now, so I might not be hearing those high ends as well, the high frequencies as well, because of my ear fatigue in the headphones. Um, but another thing I wanted to do was go back in the kick and throw in another one of those... Where is it? The Kirchhoff... EQ. Same parameters on the Lindell 80. I'll just boost like a couple or 3 dB extra around like 3 to 5K or something like that. Just to get more click and clarity in the kick drum because I like everything to be nice and clear. The bass drum has a lot of sub frequencies and I could honestly, you know, do, I could do a high pass, honestly. Let's, let's do that real quick. Cause it is, it is boom, it's booming right now. Do like 27 or 25, 28, something like that. Cut a little more out of those weird honky frequencies. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, the, that sounds really good. So the last thing that I want to show you guys, they're called Stuck Line Shadow Pick. I ran my guitars through a Fender Blues Deluxe through my API 512C, same with the bass through an API 512C in an AudioScape V-Comp Plus. What I usually do with the stuck line is I'll pan them usually like 60, get it nice and wide. And I'm going to throw those on a bus so I don't have to mess with the so I don't have to mess with them individually stuck bus okay well bus uh, whatever <laughs> okay so though just throw a Lindell on it why not a little bit of compression I mean I already had it going through compression a little bit through the V comp but it doesn't hurt to add a little more I pass 70 Maybe and just a little bit of 250. Bump. 4.8K. See how that sounds? Let's, let's exaggerate it. Ooh, the buzz. No bueno. I mean, these sounded great out the gate. I didn't do too much. That sounds great. All right. Let's listen to how the whole mix sounds again. Kick is fat in your face. Snare drum is smacking. Sounds nice and wide. Bass is super fat. The guitars and the keys and the organ are nice and blended. I mean, that's about it, guys. That's, that's a pretty solid mix right there. Well, let me listen one more time uh, through the monitors. Sounds amazing. Could mess with the bass a little more. It's pretty, it's pretty subby, but I think it sounds great. Everything is sitting well together, and it didn't really take that much effort, you know, just using the little simple tools that we have, you know, the, like, the channel strips, a little bit of surgical EQ. I didn't really even do any surgical, like, look, listen for problem frequencies or anything like that. You can, and I probably will moving forward with this tune, but I think it sounds very good so far. And this is was just a little quick tutorial to show you guys, you know, how easy it is to get your track sounding good, but it also depends on how well your drums are tuned. And if you're doing reggae, just knowing the very specific things to do or the very specific ways to record your instrument to get the sounds that you want for the genre and finding good patches too so i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to mix reggae usually there's there could be a little more elements like aux percussion and horns and guitar melodies and stuff like that but i just wanted to do like a bare bones reggae rhythm uh for you guys so for those out there learning wanting how to mix reggae um i just wanted to show you guys how to do it the way that you know i learned and in my own way as well so I hope you guys loved it. Any questions, comments, or concerns, you already know, leave it below. Subscribe, hit the bell. Thank you guys so much. If you guys had trouble following me, I apologize. This is like my first uh, mixed tutorial video in a long time. So I'm still working out the kinks. Uh, let me know in the comments, you know, if you guys have any suggestions on if I could be more clear and all that stuff. So I appreciate y'all. Y'all have an awesome one. Peace out.